Hey there, folks. Welcome to your Herald Bulldog Report. I'm Managing Editor Matt Lindbergh, and with me are staff writers Aaron Carson and Kai Hong. We're getting you set for Thursday's edition. Uh, Aaron, first off, uh, you're working on a story about uh, something related to the state legislator and uh, something that North Carolina residents should uh, definitely know about. Yeah, so when the Senate was still in session, they passed a bill that would um, put on the ballot a constitutional amendment to limit spending and they said it was a way to um, make sure that money wasn't being spent wastefully um, but there are other people that are, are worried if this does go to the vote um, just because of some of the implications it could have for um, the, um, the bond rating that the state carries so we'll have a look at that in both sides of the issue and um, let people take a look at it for themselves okay um, and Kai, you are catching up with uh, someone in Ronald Rapids who's going to be the uh, the parade grand marshal this year. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, her name's uh, Mr. Resco. She's with the Boys and Girls Club here uh, in Ronald Rapids, and uh, I'm going to get all the details on how she feels about being the grand marshal, which is a pretty big deal. Okay. Uh, well, that sounds good. So look for these stories and more inside Thursday's edition.